welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Nastasha. If you're new here, I'd love it if you would subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram if you haven't done so as well. I'm super excited for today's video because I'm finally sharing with you guys my dining room makeover. I've actually been working on it for a few months now, so I'm excited to finally share with you guys what I decided to do in here. As always, the links to everything that I share with you guys in today's video will be in the description box down below for you guys to check out. Without further ado, we can just jump right into it. All right, so just a little bit of backstory on why it kind of like took so long. So I based everything for this room makeover around this dining table. And what ended up happening with this dining table is that they stopped making it. So originally when I went on the site, it was gonna deliver like in April, May, and then it kept getting extended to June. And I was like, you know what? I don't wanna wait that long. And this was back in December. so. Finally, I was like, you know what? I can't find anything else that I like. And I went online and it was gone. <laughs> they still have it in like a regular cement stone color, which I think is just as pretty, but like the actual like white stone is no longer available, unfortunately. And I'm not sure if they're gonna bring it back, but I finally actually was able to find it. Someone was selling theirs. So I was so happy to have it. So it's just like a white stone base. And then it has like your glass top. I needed something a little bit smaller because the dining area isn't like the biggest huge space that I have in here. So I'm working with a limited space, but I feel like this piece fits in here perfectly. And I do love it. I would still recommend getting the cement one if you're in the market for a dining table like this and you want something really good quality. And the other furniture pieces that I have in here are actually from article so I just wanted to say a huge thank you to them for sending these pieces over they kind of like tie the space in together perfectly I absolutely love the fact that we get a little bit of storage in here especially because like I mentioned this is a smaller space and I wanted to have like some sort of storage piece as well as I was on the hunt for the perfect dining chairs and these ones from article I'm absolutely in love with first I'll share with you guys the Madeira oak sideboard this one is actually made of solid wood it has the three doors, which is gonna give you a ton of storage. This kind of actually makes the dining area look super minimal, clean, organized, when in reality, I just put all of like my junk that really needs to be organized within here. So it's like a perfect amount of storage. It has this really nice brushed finish to it. And you can actually address the shelves that are inside. So if you guys are looking for some like really nice, beautiful, Furniture, definitely check out Article. They have like really high quality pieces at like great prices. Another thing I absolutely love about Article is they have the delivery times and it tells you like everything on the website. So the in-stock items deliver super fast. I literally got these pieces within a few days because they were in stock. So I will definitely have that piece linked down below for you guys to check out if you're in the market for a sideboard. Now you don't have to use this in a dining area. You can totally use this as a media console. You can use it in your bedroom and like kind of fold your clothes and use it as like a dresser. I just really love the style of it and it's been on my wish list for quite some time. So I'm super excited that I finally got my hands on. And then moving on to the dining chairs. These have also been on my wish list for quite some time. I just didn't have a space for them. But ever since Article came out with these, I have wanted them. These are the Tiaka dining chair. They can be used inside or outside and they do actually come with a nice little cushion. The cushion is actually filled with recycled textile. Here, I'm just using them without the cushions because I like the look of it better. And they're actually still super comfortable. I'm sitting in the chair right now as I film this this video super super comfortable to sit in even without the cushion so totally optional to use that if you need it or not and the outdoor teak wood will weather over time and it will turn to like a really pretty silver gray color if you decide to keep these outside I honestly am probably gonna keep these inside and maybe use them outside as well I'm super excited that I finally have them they're amazing quality and I would definitely recommend them and then lastly I do have my concrete bench I actually just brought it in Side because I didn't want it to get ruined outside. And I feel like it looks really nice here in the back under my daisy chain art piece. So those are basically the main core furniture pieces for this dining area. So those are the major pieces of furniture that we have within this room. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the decor now because I'm sure you guys have a few questions there. So how I styled the dining table, I just wanted to keep it super minimal. Again, we're working with a limited space. This isn't the biggest dining table table in the world it can pretty much only comfortably seat four people 
So I kept it super simple. I just put a candle because I like burning a candle in this nice little marble bowl, as well as I have my clear coasters. I get a ton of questions about those. They will definitely be linked down below. All of those three items I absolutely love and I love having them because I kind of mix and match them within the home, but I think they're gonna stay in the dining area for now. All right, and then how I styled the Madeira sideboard is I actually added this arch mirror. I think I got this from CB2. I love it, it's really good quality. I ended up going with the silver color simply because all the other colors were on such back order, but I'm actually happy I ended up with the silver because it matches really well. I just have this styled with my home goods candle. You guys know I always show this candle. You guys absolutely love it. Unfortunately, I have not ever seen it at home goods ever again, like I got it years ago and I don't even burn it for that reason because I don't think I can get a replacement. So I just kind of like keep it as decor. And then to the left of that, I have some of my favorite kind of like coffee table books, but I have them styled on the sideboard. I'll also have those linked down below. Those are two of my absolute favorites. I also love the neutral tone. My tip is always to take off the cover of the books. That way they look like this. So these did come with different covers on them. Once you remove those little covers, I kind of store them elsewhere or I can store them in my sideboard. Those are the kind of things that I'll kind of store in there, just random decor pieces. Uh, I think they just look a little bit better, a little more neutral tone to be able to style on here. And then I have my Studio McGee vase on top of that. I absolutely love this piece. It's probably one of my favorite pieces from her newest collection. So that is kind of like the whole little sideboard area. And then covering up my router and all the wires and all that stuff, I actually have this little mushroom stool that I recently got and I absolutely love this thing. It is seriously the cutest piece ever. So definitely would recommend checking it out and getting your hands on one before it sells out. I have a feeling that that's gonna be one of the pieces that sells out super quick just cause it's super cute. So that is kind of how I have everything styled over there with the sideboard. I feel like it ties in really nicely with the table and the chairs. And then moving over to the concrete bench, I just have this linen blanket. I kind of folded it and draped it over also to protect the concrete. I feel like that piece is a little more on the delicate side. So anything I can do to put on top of it to kind of protect it, I will do it. And then on top of that, I just have a few more books that I've been loving. And then on top of the books, I actually have this crystal. The crystal is actually from my home decor shop, which should be opening quite soon. I'm so excited for that to open back up and I can't wait to share that with you guys. I'll obviously do a video and share it with you guys when that is open and up and running, but I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little sneak peek. Plus I do love having that little crystal there. I feel like it adds like a nice subtle pop of color to the room. All right. And then in the corner there, I have my dragon tree. Now I get a ton of questions anytime I share my dragon trees. So I'm going to go a little bit more in depth about them. So I personally would recommend them. These are great for indoors and outdoors but they are a great indoor plant if you are just starting out with plants. Um, pretty hard to kill. They're very easy to take care of. This one actually started off as like a woven like I guess they like wove together the tree trunks. I don't know how to explain it, but you guys can kind of tell. They kind of like had it connected together and it broke apart on its own. So now it's separating and growing in different directions, which I love. The thing about these trees is they end up looking better the older they are. So if you can get your hands on an aged dragon tree, I would highly recommend it. They're a little bit more expensive, but to me, these trees just look so beautiful when they're a little bit older. I've had this one for a few years and it's finally starting to look the way that I want it to look. And then I just have that in this concrete planter that again, another piece that I've had that I love because it works in so many different spaces. I've moved and it still works within my new space. So I guess I can say that about all of the pieces within this dining room space is I would highly recommend them because they're very like neutral pieces that can be used in a lot of different settings. And that's truly what I look for when I go ahead and like purchase furniture and have furniture within my home is that it has multiple uses and it's going to last for a long time and I'm going to be able to use it for a long time. So I really would highly recommend the sideboard as well as these chairs because again, these chairs are perfect for indoors and outdoors. So if I ever want to switch up the look of this indoor dining setting, I'm actually just going to move these outside. I recently got a dining table for outside and these chairs actually, I already checked, they look so good with the dining table outside. So 
Highly would recommend the chairs as well as the sideboard. I think the sideboard is an amazing piece, especially in the dining room. I think the key to having like a nice, clean and minimal space is having that storage furniture. I've mentioned that before, but I would highly recommend both of those. Definitely check out Article if you haven't already. I will have Article linked in the description box down below, along with everything else that I shared in today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my dining room makeover kind of reveal video. If you guys did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.